channel Unlimited Science by Sir Yoren. Today, we are going to talk about the different forms of energy. In the previous lesson, we have learned the different types of energy. So today, let's talk about the forms. Are you familiar with the law of conservation of energy? According to this law, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. And because of that, we have different forms of energy. First on the list is chemical energy. Chemical energy is the energy stored in the bonds of chemical compounds like atoms and molecules. This energy is released when a chemical reaction takes place. Usually, once a chemical energy has been released from a substance, that substance is transformed into a completely new substance. Example of that is food. The food that we eat, just like what we have discussed, it contains nutrients. Fireworks display is also a product of chemical reaction, as well as this cool experiment regarding the soda and baking soda. Battery and gasoline are also examples of chemical energy. Another one is nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is the energy in the nucleus of an atom. So there is an enormous energy in the bonds that holds atoms together. So it can be released from uh, atoms in two ways, namely nuclear fusion and nuclear fission. When this happens, a tremendous amount of energy is being used. Other countries use nuclear energy as a source like Japan and Russia, as well as United States. In the Philippines, we have nuclear reactor also, but it was closed during the time of Ferdinand Marcos. Another one is mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy that is possessed by an object due to its motion or due to its position. Mechanical energy can either be kinetic or potential or both. Perfect example of mechanical energy is the movement or rotation of the blades of windmill because this movement is being generated into electricity by the help of generators. The blade acts as turbines. Another one is heat energy. Heat energy is the result of the movement of tiny particles called atoms, molecules, or ions in solid, liquid, and gases. Heat energy can be transferred from one object to another. The transfer of flow due to the difference in temperature is called heat. An example of that is fire, which is normally used in cooking our food, or to give us heat during bonfire. Another form of energy is called radiant energy. Radiant energy is the energy of electromagnetic waves. So these waves can travel through space. Electromagnetic radiation is made up of tiny particles called photons. Light energy is a form of radiant energy that is visible. Light is a visible form of radiant energy. Among the electromagnetic spectrum, it's only light that is visible. That's why we can see different colors. Example, light bulb, fire, and lamp. Sound energy. Sound energy is the energy produced by vibrating objects. Sound cannot occur if there is no vibration. An example of that is your voice. If you're going to observe, try to hold your throat and then talk, you will see there is a vibration. So that vibration produces your voice or sound. Same as with the speakers and the other devices that produce sound, just like a guitar or any other musical instrument. Last but not the least, electrical energy. Electrical energy is the energy produced by moving or flowing electrons. Electrons is the negatively charged particle in the nucleus of an atom, which is rotating outside the nucleus of an atom. Electrical energy is the most common form of energy that we are using 
in order to run our appliances and gadgets. That's all for today. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. If you are new to this channel, kindly click subscribe. Share also and give your comments. And click the notification bell for more updates to the new videos.